Welcome back to the Jump Off Battles. I'm Litigate, your host. This is the Melbourne division of the World Rap Championships. I'm here with 360, an anecdote, syntax, and keynote. Set it up. Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck is syntax and keynote? All I see is a slim fag who deep throats and his big fat amigo who lives on Kit Kats and Cheetos. And you'll get bitch slapped by me, bro, because this kid has an ego, so if he thinks that his raps can beat though, he needs to lay off the six packs of weed smoke. Don't forget the Doritos, he mentioned all the Kit Kats, and forget the McDonald's six packs and all those fucking Big Macs. I'll punch him in his fat back, give him some fucking whiplash. Where the fuck's this dude tits at? There's the pig fat. Pig fat, yo. Fuck your amateur freeze. You all are some faggot MCs, so are you guys from Queensland or just from the fucking land of the Queens? Hey yo, I'm a good Samaritan C. I'll call up a Catholic priest and organize a marriage between Adam and Steve. That's right, these dudes are poofed as they're called Adam and Steve. But the fact is, dude, you need to drop your calories, B. You ain't a battle MC because these two fat fucks can't go head to head just like fucking batteries, see? Hey yo, who would have thought that this fag would battle me? We're only at the shadow gallery because you can't see anything. He blocks the sun with his fat anatomy. Time! <laughs> Syntax and keynote. Alright, it's time for me to get up and fucking diss you. I see if you can turn your foot inside out, you can play Twister. And we all recognise your sister from the time she's got blisters from the man of the times he started to fucking fist her. Okay, you know I spit with the nice shit. Yeah, just as time it's calling Robocop, but I'm not, I'm not gonna quite geek because it looks like I'm battling fucking Red Dwarf's Crichton. That's right. Here we go, I'll be spitting it nice. When he goes to the barber, the fucking uh, guy cuts the hair, put your head in the vice. Uh, anecdote is such a joke. And 360, it's the man of fucking degrees I should burn you. Uh, 360, you got too many fucking disease, and anecdote, I hate to have to fucking hurt you. 360 is the amount of degrees you should spin when I knock you out. That's a big ass fucking tongue, it's probably the right size to fit in your mouth. Right size to fit in your mouth, and you know that we're gonna scold you. 360 rocked up to the same, uh, rocked up to these battles wearing the same clothes he did, but he got ripped by nicotine and the revolver. And that's right, anecdote, um, uh, you know you can't diss me, and I figured that you've written all your shit considering that you challenged me for 250. Uh, the 250 bucks and we find out who sucks. And we both know you guys are faggots because that slide at the back you're playing with, you, with each other's nuts. Time! Yo, this guy talks about the size of my tongue. Yo, but it's provided for mums and I'll stick it right in a cunt. Uh, yo, and this herb's so fat inside he can't be observed by camera sites. So if he gets his picture taken, it's a thousand miles above Earth by satellites. Yo, I've burned this faggot twice. I got a phone call from Surfer's Paradise. They said return the fags tonight, we need to use them for a virgin sacrifice. <laughs> oh shit, I can't believe we're gonna face these dudes. This me about revolver when you dudes didn't even make it through. You wanna talk about it dude, you can't taste the goo. Because I just wanna see these dudes fucking naked boobs. <laughs> hey yo, these fags are burned and massacred. I'll give you guys some advice, before you spit a battle verse, you should decide on an accent first. Hey yo, and he's the fattest nerd. He's nothing but Mac is served with bad hors d'oeuvres. And I'm surprised that the fucking planet Earth has learned a spit of battle verse. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even trying because you're honestly shit. At the end of the day, dude, you don't want it with this. And that's the truth, motherfucker. I'm not as skinny as a twig. And I'm going to reiterate that. You don't want it with this. Alright, Wangy spit shit, you're not fucking hurting me. His last punchline was bitten from the Soros' planet verse. Mercury's going to plan a verse for me. So what you need to do is think, uh, still think that you're whack and stop biting lines from the Soros and your man. Um, <laughs> uh, cut you guys with the guillotine. Uh, you want to see his boobs, because I guess you like to watch gay, gay guys' chests in fucking magazines, and if you had to fucking use your memory right, you realize that Revolver made it in the top 16. That's right, here we go, and you know that I'll be ripping it tight. Anecdotes, head shape is the result of when you get a potato and you peel it with a knife. And that's right, you know I'll be spitting this shit, and why the fuck are you looking at my boobs? You should be concentrating on her tits. Uh, that's right, man, you should listen to the motto. I'm about to choke you guys and hit the full throttle. Uh, anecdote, if we put on a wig and some lipstick, your face would look just like this model. <laughs> face would look just like this model, and you know this, uh, you know, this punk really sprays, <laughs> and his fucking rhymes need to go back to the toilet like his appearance on Mo Fire Mondays. Alright, 360s, how many uh, uh, bits of crumbling and bits of fucking pieces as I start to burn this and send you to Jesus? Time! 360 and anecdote. Uh, yeah, I'll put your to shame because the Lord's my name. This fat fuck came all the way from the northern plains and all he brought today was a horse's face. <laughs> hey yo, 
Y'all can play and I'll make sure that you shouldn't fornicate and you're fat as fuck. I hope you brought your daughter today. You ain't going all the way, so now you should go and hang out with more brigades because you love awesome gays and you're the foursome way. Yo, someone call the retirement place. Tell them their rapper broke out through the fire escape. Yo, it's not it's time to quit when it's lights in your face. Before you started, you were past your expiry date. Yo, they call this dope hip hop. How the fuck did you get here? You're so broke to afford to go six blocks, you got to pawn your own wristwatch. Hey yo, when this guy smells like four year old gym socks, so y'all can go piss off. You and the horse you rode in on. Yo. <laughs> yo, I'm getting sick of all these pensioner types. Man, they keep on forgetting what dementia is like. Remember that shit? You all be wrecking your lines. Remember up the staircase, it's one step at a time. Yo, I'm busting Rhymer, and no one fucking likes ya. And you said with lipstick, I'd resemble this girl, but I don't think I look any- I think I look nothing like her. Yo, and I'll smack you better, your bags are better, but my abs are better. Alright, but you know you're off course. Um, I should uh, point at the fact that all your rhymes have got flaws. And it's funny you should mention that, because yeah, it was just the other day your mother was saying that I'm hung like a horse. Alright, here we go. You know I'll start ripping flows and hit you in the nose. Talk about me being broke. The only reason you got the 250 fit being a fucking little broke bitch on Weapon, uh, Weapon X and Sneak a Pippin video. Uh, yeah, I should uh, speak fast and give you a slap fast. Why are you taking short jokes? You're the shortest one in here, you fucking jackass. And bitch, I'm about to leave you hell scarred. Uh, how come your jacket looks like you tried to get a uh, retired version of the zebra from fucking Madagascar? Uh, zebra from Madagascar, I think you know I'll be um, ripping you, dude. And you look like one of the bitches that he was sitting next to in his room. That's right. I'll uh, spit it with the um, tightest, uh, one of the tightest battlers and some of the nicest rappers. And since when the fuck did Kelly Slater to become a battle rapper? Uh, next time, alright, let's watch one more way that I can disrespect you. Who wants to ever come up and inspect you? Everybody knows that you like to do gay guys inspecting, and this is another battle that uh, we just want to get on to the next one, kid. <laughs> Hi! Let's take it to the judges. What's up? Welcome back to week four of the regular season of the World Rap Championships Melbourne Division. We're here with 360 and Anecdote. We're here with Syntax and Keynote. And the judges have given it to 360 and Anecdote. This is an outrage. I demand a next round. Freak out the rest. Murder again. That's definitely going to be the murder. That's right, me and the horse that I came with. Jackass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anecdote 360. Looks like they might be taken. Even though they don't really fucking. They, didn't, they haven't shined in the past, and I, I didn't rate anecdote as high as. I do now. Like his battle plan purpose was insane. Yeah. I think they'll take it. I think they'll go, and I think they'll do pretty well. Um, he did, however, bite that thesaurus line. So, thesaurus, if you're watching, I got your back. Yes, right? but uh, we'll hang out for the rest of the uh, the day or the weeks, as you would put it, and uh, see how many times we can lose in a row. Getting so drunk far, tonight, man. Getting... Say goodbye to Justice. Justice. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Yeah, we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we just battled um, Keynote and Syntax. There's a chopper overhead. Fucking. Yeah, yeah we ripped it. it. Was good. It was good. Fucking it was ripped fun. it. Fucking ripped it. It was good. It was that's, real it. Fun. that's it. We just had fun. That's it. Messed around a bit. Yeah. But next W again. Next W. Dino later. Just a V. Two Vs together are a W. So hopefully so we can get one each. One each would be yeah. good. Or one and a half each. Yes. Yeah, right. Peace. Peace.